none other than Armoth Niche Platinum. So I know I have already done a video um, about this fragrance unboxing it in the past. So finally now I can give my take on it. And I'll be honest with you, this is, uh, to date this is probably the hardest uh, fragrance review I've had to do because it's hard for me to, I don't know, properly explain uh, this fragrance. Uh, there's also a little bit of disappointment, I guess. But anyways, let me just 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 get into it. Uh, let me just get into it because I know I, I've I've shot that unboxing video quite a while now. So maybe the people who've been watching this channel probably expected this review to come earlier. But I'm gonna give you my take now. So, but now in terms of the smell, okay, of this fragrance. So when you first spray it, um, to me. What I get is definitely cedar, like on initial spray, you get cedar mixed in with other notes, okay? But the cedar is the most predominant smell that you're gonna get in the first like five or so minutes. And those other notes that are mixed in, it kind of smells like it's a little bit of myrrh or frankincense. So I guess like a smooth incense smell as well as some uh, spices, although when you look at the notes, which I'll post, I'll put up right now for this fragrance of notes. Like I said, when you first spray this, I'm, I'm getting the cedar right away. And I'm getting a little bit of amber, like a sweetness, but also just a little bit of spices. Maybe some myrrh, maybe some incense in the background, but mostly like a, like a cedar mixing with like slight subtle spices and amber. Okay? So after those first five or ten minutes, this thing might trick you into thinking that it smells similar to YSL Loam. And you could say that maybe it does a little, but really all I'm left with after the opening is subtle spices mixed in with a discreet, shy myrrh or incense-like smell and possibly some sweetness, or I should say definitely some sweetness from amber. Okay, but all of this is blended together where nothing really stands out to me. And to be honest with you, one of the reasons why I said at the beginning that this fragrance was probably the hardest to date that I had to review is because I feel like to my nose, I, the, it's hard for me to detect this fragrance once I spray it on myself like after the first 10 or 15 minutes. After the first 10 or 15 minutes, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing much of anything after I spray this on myself. Like my nose, I think gets anosmic uh, to this scent for some reason. So I could spray myself like eight times and it, it doesn't feel like it, like I've overdone it. Maybe other people around me might be able to tell, but I personally can't, can't uh, smell it as something that's performing strongly or something that's like very thick and strong in the air. When I was uh, trying to find other fragrances to compare this to, to me, it's like a mixture of three fragrances. Okay, Bleu de Chanel is one fragrance that it smells like, and it could be any of the Bleu de Chanel's. I feel like it has a little bit of that cedar incense, you know, sits, uh, not citrus vibe, because there is no citrus in this, according to the notes, but um, it definitely has some of that cedar smoothness with the incense vibe in it a little bit. Uh, and then I've also got a Boss Bottled Intense from Hugo Boss uh, vibe in this. A little bit of that sweetness, uh, almost apple candy sweetness from it. And then also I get a little, another scent that I, I smell that kind of reminds me of this is Lacoste Yellow. Okay, so all those three fragrances combined, and maybe some people might even say why I sell alone. It, it feels like basically what I try to say is that this scent, it doesn't smell to be, smell exactly like anything else that I've smelled. Like clearly this is, you could tell that this is not, to me, it doesn't feel like it was meant to be a clone of anything, but you could tell that it was inspired by several of those types of fragrances that I mentioned. It was 
it was seemed to be inspired by those sins and then it took aspects of those types of fragrances and put it into one and this is kind of what you get um i could say that yeah it kind of takes all of those fragrances that i mentioned and kind of does give a more uh subtle niche type quality to it but in terms of a performance level i don't think it's that great um to me i get like noticeable five six hours max it projects uh for sure for at least one hour um but after that uh, i feel like it's it's a skin scent uh for the majority of the time and you know i i, I will also say that because this was kind of a hard fragrance for me to review what i will say is that you know, i did watch other reviewers who gave their take on this fragrance now of all the ones that i've watched I would say that a reviewer by the name of Flex Your Face Chase, his review on this fragrance, I feel like is the one that I, the one that I agreed with the most. Um, so if if you kind of want to take, like from my opinion, again, I'm not saying that my nose is the best or anything like that. I'm just uh, somebody who's given my opinions on all these fragrances in my collection, but. From my point of view, um, my opinion combined with his is kind of what my view of this, you know, my ultimate view of this fragrance is. I will say that yes, it does have a bit of a candy, hard candy smell to it. And I don't mean like a very sweet hard candy smell like any of those, you know, polo red fragrances for example or even any of those Lacoste fragrances or any of those you know like department store fragrances or drugstore fragrances that are just very like sweet and and synthetic this one it, it smells like hard candy but it's very like it, it's like a subtle sweetness a subtle candy smell almost like a, a subtle spiced candy smell and you would think that because of that candy type smell that it, it, it wouldn't be good for the heat um, but I feel like because it's not a performer you could probably still get away with wearing this in the summer so for sure this is this is something that's I would say perfect for spring and fall for winter you know you could probably use it too and for summer if you limit the sprays um, I think it would be good too so yeah you could you could wear this all year round um, but just note that it's not like don't don't buy this thinking that you're gonna be getting Armas take on why sell alone or any of those types of fragrances. It's not that fresh. You know, there there isn't any noticeable, you know, I thought when I first smelled this that I was getting something that's noticeable, like a ginger thing. I don't know. To be honest with you, I can't feel like I pick up anything specifically that's ginger here. And for sure there's no citruses here. Uh, as I just showed you, there's no citruses in the notes. So you're not going to get a scent that feels as light or watery or citrusy fresh as YSL alone or any fragrance like that. Um, one thing I did want to talk about, okay, this fragrance, um, judging from, you know, what I've seen online, I don't think this fragrance is in production anymore. Um, if you look, I bought this bottle, okay, in, I bought this bottle last year, so 2018 thinking in the second half of 2018 um, and look at the just I could just zoom in here look at the the production date okay so this is the batch the production was you see the November 2014 it's made in France so I bought this thing just last year but this one was produced five years earlier basically or, or about close to between four and five years before i bought this and then it's showing you that expiry date is is, is end of this year but but this is a, an old uh fragrance i don't know if that has something to do with how i feel it performs for me or how it smells but what i will just say is that you know when i saw that it was produced in 2014 and i emailed um 
uh, the place I bought from Fragrance Buy, they told me that they don't have any newer batches. This is the last batch that they had. And now when you go on fragrancebuy.ca, it's sold out. If you go on fragrancenet.com, it's sold out. If you go on fragrancex.com, it is sold out. So I don't think you can even get or buy this fragrance anymore on those online discounters. Uh, basically, you can only, if you really want the scent, you can only get it at, uh, as far as I know, Amazon or eBay, right? So just keep that in mind with this fragrance. <clears throat> this scent, to me, is nothing special. Uh, you can use the 30 to 40 bucks Canadian that is going to cost you to buy this 90 milliliter bottle, and it only comes in one size. Um, and I think it's, it's uh, what is this, Eau de Toilette? Uh, let me, yeah, it's an, it's an EDT, Eau de Toilette. Um, and it costs like 30, 40 bucks, uh, 40 bucks I think Canadian uh, for this. I, I don't think, the smell is nothing special, okay, for to warrant that price. I think you can get other uh, smells that are more interesting uh, from Armoff or even from many other uh, fragrance brand to me there's nothing about this that stands out or that's interesting enough to buy a full bottle uh in my book if you are dying to get your nose on this i would recommend getting a sample uh, a, a vial tester only just to try it out first and then maybe if you really liked it then, then you buy a full bottle, but I would never recommend uh, for you to just buy the full bottle out, right? I don't, I don't think the smell, you know, even though it's, it says niche, I, I don't think the smell itself, the scent profile of this is something that's, that's that special uh, for you to just go out and, and blind buy it. Um, uh, like, comment, subscribe, holla back.